hello I wanted I'm so excited I got my Mozart watercolor paints in today they're 40 colors uh, they're very vibrant and I was told that they had a smell to them but you know what I've sniffed them I smell nothing uh, I don't know I don't know what was wrong with theirs, but these look beautiful. And uh, they have a little chart for you to do a color splotch on them so you can look at all your colors as you're going. And um, I've already sprayed it. I've, I've let it sit for quite some time. I spray it with water and uh, to activate them. And we're just going to see. This is the first time I've never tried them before. So let's see what we have here. This is the crimson. I'm not going to name them all. But they're quite vibrant. But yet, like watercolor, you can see through them. So they look quite nice. Yes, I like that. Looks like they fan out real well. Now this is just the paper that they have for you to do that with. And make sure you clean your brush. Don't uh, contaminate the next color. Um, I know this is kind of boring, but I was excited and, and wanted to, to see my colors. That way I can decide what kind of that's really pretty. I love that one. It just takes a little bit, they said, so they're very vibrant. And oh, look at that pink. That is very pretty. I like that. Almost forgot and didn't clean my brush. That would have been bad. This is the fourth one. Let's see what it looks like. It's supposed to be a bow oh, violet. Isn't that beautiful? Hope you can see this. I'll bring it down a little bit. You won't, might not be able to see the colors, but you'll see what I'm doing. I think that might be a little bit more what you want. The paper is buckling some, so I'm thinking this sit in watercolor paper, but it'll work for what we want it, uh, what I want it for, and that's just to see what my colors are. Watercolor, it's kind of hard to see. You'll see a color and you'll think, oh, and it'll be totally different. Making sure that I get the right one to go in the right, right box. That's called a red ochre. That is pretty. And they're right. I'm wasting some of the paint because it doesn't take a whole lot. Let's see what the yellow ochre looks like. right pretty. It's very, very pretty. I love the colors. Like I said, I have no problem with the smell neither. Um, I have no idea who put that up, but there is no smell to mine. Uh, and I'm, I'm in a closed room and I don't have a fan going today doing a video. I wouldn't want the noise in the background. I've noticed some of my videos having some fan no noise to them. Let's start on the second roll. Like I said, if you don't want to watch all the way through or if you want to speed it up, 
you know, that's totally up to you, but I've got to get these done so I can see my colors good. I like how vibrant they are. This is bright yellow. Ooh, it is bright yellow. <laughs> Look at that. This is a lemon yellow, and it's not quite as bright, but it's very soft. I, I love the colors, and some most of it is transparent. You could go over it like I did with this one and um, get a darker color if that's what you know what you want. I'm always going from on the left to the right and that's the way that I'm going on here this is just regular paper and it I think it's doing wonderful This is supposed to be an olive green. I think that's a pretty color. I want to make sure I got the right one. Oh yes, I can see me using this even in the ocean paintings that I do. This would be a good color. It's a bright green. Ooh. I think that's got some hints of blue in it, but it's a very beautiful green. I've been busy and I've gotten, whoops, about to mess up there, peak green, I'm about to go on the, I should, well, anyway, I go to peak green, oh, that's a really good, rich, dark green for full, uh, for the trees and bushes, and then this last one is a turquoise. Turquoise is my favorite color, but that's pretty too. Isn't it pretty? I just love watercolor. And Mozart, they really are they they're really good to work with. Now we're on our third row, and that's in the middle row. Oh, that's a nice blue. Isn't that beautiful? Hope you can see this. Yeah, looks like you can. I'm excited. I can't wait to try this on watercolor. Blues, pinks, orange, yellows, those are, I like a lot of colors, uh, but I, turquoise and blues, uh, that's my favorite color. This is a deep blue. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yes. I'm liking all their colors. This is a brown. And the paper's kind of 
dry because I didn't, it's, it's not um, watercolor paper, so. I like that. I believe in using what I have and that's four, so this would be number five on the middle row. And that's burnt sienna. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. That is really nice. It's important to do these so you can see all your colors. This is a burnt umber. You hear little pitter patters. I closed the door so my little puppy wouldn't be in here. She's very sweet, but she's a little noisy. <laughs> this is Payne's Gray. I love it. Uh, let's see what their Payne's Gray looks like. Oh, yeah, I'm not disappointed. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That would really do work real well with some shadows. Get your values in with those. And the last one is just gray, it says. Let's see what. Oh, I like that. Just a little bit more. Feather it out. Oh, yeah. I like that. Look at all the colors you get. It's, it's really nice. This is a deep black, it says. Oh, yeah, it's a deep black. All right. Look at that. I'm more out to use Payne's Gray. But that's just my preference. Um, the next one is white. I'm gonna skip it. There's no need. I guess I can go ahead and I don't think you could see anything. No, see, you can't see nothing. It's just white. Make sure I get it clean so I don't have nothing on that brush. And we're going into what they call the neon. This is neon pink. Oh, boy, look at that. I can see some pink flamingos in my future. How fun is that? All right, this is neon orange. Oh, wow. If you're doing some underwater scenes, that would be really pretty for some um, coral and, and stuff. Neon red. Wow, I really like these colors, all of them so far. And then we have the neon yellow. And I thought so, it's gonna look greenish, but wouldn't that be pretty in the ocean? As some highlights kind of in your face, but that would be pretty, I would use it. That's me, and I have no more water in my water brush. And these are from Those Art too. I've talked about them before, unless you haven't seen some of my videos, but you just put water in them, and you can use them, and um, there's different sizes. There's a smaller tip. There's six in a, in a container. 
Uh, I just bought me another set, in fact. I love them. Uh, they're, they're quite, they're just, I really like them, especially when I'm teaching. I have my regular brushes too, but I really love these. And on the go, they're perfect when you're sitting out at the beach or at a lake or anywhere like that. Oh, look how pretty. That is really gorgeous. I love that color. Now, let's see. We're going to have a neon blue. Oh, that's going to be interesting. That's pretty. And remember, when you first put them on after they dry, watercolor is a little bit... Uh, dries a little bit lighter than what you have. So when you're doing watercolor, you're probably going to want to uh, go a little darker than you think you would want to go. Now these are metallic. And on that white, it's going to be hard to see these metallics. You want to use a darker paper, a black, or a colored paper to see these metallics, but they are beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. This is a bronze. This would be really pretty for a skin color um, on a mermaid. Wow. That's the third one. That is really pretty. Look at that. I have no problem seeing that one. <laughs> the fourth one, metallic yellow. I love these colors. I can see doing all sorts of birds, um, toucan birds, um, Amazon birds. It would really make it pop. I'm excited about the next one. It's a metallic purple. Ooh, that is pretty. I can see that on a butterfly. Yeah, it's Valentine's right around the corner. These colors would be absolutely wonderful to use. And we have metallic green. Look at there. Like I said, it would be better if it was um, on darker paper because you could see it better and of course watercolor paper and this is the metallic blue oh now I keep thinking each one is my favorite but um, my goodness that is that's just beautiful I think my favorite is probably in the metallics is um, this one and this one and this one. It, um, the other one is a silver. It, I'm not sure how good it's going to come up on. Well, you can definitely see it. Well, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did. It gives you a chance to see the different colors that Mozart has in their 40 range watercolor set. 
and uh, I am not disappointed that I bought these. I bought them with my money, my own money, and um, they're just beautiful. I did get a big discount, though. I'm I'm gonna tell the truth. I I appreciate Mozart doing that. They uh, gave me a huge discount on this watercolor paint set, but uh, it, it's just beautiful. I love it, and. Uh, I hope you enjoy yours, too. I can't wait to do a, a full painting with it. Thank you for watching. My name is Jen Beasley, and I'm an artist. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you decide if you want uh, one of these paint sets. I am thrilled that I've gotten mine. Bye for now.